Hell yeah, just got back from a little cruise, guys. It's pretty sick. Uh, just gonna check out, uh, do some little maintenance on the car, check it out. Hey, bro, hey, bro, before you do anything with your car, uh, can you help me out? Oh, shit, what's up, man? I got a 2019 Civic 1.5T, and it's like yours, right? Because it's a uh, Turbo Civic, newer, newer one. It's freaking nice. I'm just trying to figure out what to do with it because... It has a turbo, man, and that's freaking sick. You know, it has a freaking turbo now, and I freaking like it, man. So I'm I'm coming to you for advice because I need some advice, homie. What what do you recommend, fool? Like, do I throw in a blow-off valve? Do I do I slam it? Do I get coilovers? What do I do, man? I know it's not an SI, but it's still a turbo car, freaking Civic with a turbo, man. Who, who would have thought Honda would have finally put a pinch of turbo in the shit, right, fool? You're, you're the master, right? El pinche. That's why I'm coming to you, homie. Please tell me what you know and what I need to do to my carro so it can be as perron as yours, man, because this shit is feed me, fool. Hell yeah, man. What do I got to do, homie? Tell me the secrets, the tips, and the tacticals and all this shit that I need to know, man. So what you're saying is you came to the master for some help. Is that what you're saying, grasshopper? Or, or nah, or you're you gonna get the reference. All right, all right, all right. All right, you know what? Anyways, bro, look, if you if you want to get some advice from the car, I advise you to, first of all, check out the channel. Like, share, subscribe. Make sure you do that, all right? Make sure you do that, bro. Next thing, I'm gonna give you a little little tips, some little tips that I know, all right? Just, just a little quick tips, you know? I don't have that much time on my hands, but these are some little things that you should know, all right? Some little do's and don'ts. So you might, you might want to take a notepad and write some of this shit down or put it on your phone, whatever you got to do. Okay. Whatever you got to do, bro. Um, so basically, look, there's a couple do's and don'ts with the 1.5T, 10th gen Civic, even the 11th gen now with the turbo. And there's some other cars that have the same engine, like the CRV and I forgot what else has it, but there's a couple other ones out there that have the 1.5T, all right? Some older ones too, it's, it's weird, you know, but it's like brand new for the Civic, it's a bit of turbo. I know, I know it's exciting, it's exciting. I didn't know shit either, bro. But look, couple do's and don'ts. So first of all, don't, and I repeat, don't. Is yours automatic or manual? Oh, uh, it, it's an automatic, homie, it's an automatic. Uh, CVT, for sure, CVT, I checked it out. Look, bro, first of all, why don't you get a manual? Just kidding, bro, it doesn't matter. But look, first of all, don't wide open throttle under 2.5 rpms please don't like don't step on the gas all the way down pedal to the metal under 2000 2.5 rpm all right please don't do that even in your automatic don't do that shit, bro do roll into boost this, this this works better if you had a manual you know but since you don't have a manual basically once you pass 2.5 k rpms then you can start pushing the gas a little more and then it'll grab on more, it'll hook more better. If you're forcing it from the bottom of the RPM range under 2K, you're just forcing the engine too much, man. These are, these are little 1.5 liters. You're gonna mess something up fast if you do it like that all the time. So please don't wide open throttle under 2.5K, but do roll into boost. And that also makes that's the reason to the other point. Don't uh, drag race. Don't try to be one of those punks always drag racing and messing things up and this, this, and that, bro. Don't be doing that, all right? Don't be doing that shit. And don't. I heard you mention blow off valve. Do not put that on your car. All right, don't put a blow off valve on your car, man. Do not do that. 100%. Number one tip is do not throw on a bitch ass. Do not throw on a pinch of blow off valve, fool. You're gonna mess the car up. Do not do it, man. Do not do it. What you should do is get an intake. PRL 271 Mishimoto. Great brands. Go with those. Don't get no eBay shit. Don't get no fake eBay shit, man. All right, get the good companies. Go with the good ones. Like I said, I have a lot of shit on my channel, homie. You should do some research on the car before you start modifying it, all right? Make sure you do that. Do research, all right? If you do flex fuel, please, especially since you're in an automatic, please don't freaking 
force it because like i say you're not supposed to be forcing it and the manual it's different upgrade the clutch this is now you have an automatic transmission cvt gotta be careful with that because you can just blow through the gears instantly blow through the one gear in the cvt and mess it all up homie don't be doing that it's pretty cool though because yeah yeah bro don't i advise you to to just chill with that flex drill thing for a bit all right because you might you might mess something up you might mess something up so just chill with that for now and if you don't know what that is like i said do some research bro do keep up with your maintenance all right since it's a turbo yeah it's a honda you know it's a honda reliable long lasting fun little four cylinders but don't skip maintenance man don't don't trust the the system in the car don't freaking wait on it to tell you if you're already at 30 percent start checking it yourself look check it out the dealership is always going to tell you wait until this time blah 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 nah man i highly advise you to do it yourself but if it's on warranty take it to the dealer that's fine with me you know that that's chill that's chill with me too you know save save a couple bucks here and there you know i get it save a couple bucks here and there but keep up with your maintenance man oil especially because these cars were known to have some oil dilution issue pre-2020 so check that out even still they might have it but still keep up with your maintenance homie keep up with the maintenance don't like i said don't drive the car like it's a freaking race car 24 7 man because if you do that bro you're just you're just gonna mess up the head gasket you're gonna mess up something with the car man please don't drive it like it's a race car this is not no formula one car this is not no ferrari nah bro chill it's a civic economy car especially since you don't have the si or the type r so chill out a bit all right chill it's not a freaking race car all right drive it smooth the more you take care of it the longer it'll last that's all i gotta say man don't be forcing the car to be going crazy like 100 120 not nah, chill out with that bro it goes it, it goes good it sounds good i like it i like it man it sounds good i might do a this i do a muffler delete or something i don't know just to make it sound better you know because i want to hear that turbo too man definitely do enjoy the car like enjoy it man it's your car do what you want go look at the forums um civic x forums uh maybe not the facebook forums because sometimes there's some weird people on there talking about some weird dumb shit and yeah just research the car homie look number one thing i gotta say is research the car do your research on the car if you need some help you can always come to me homie but like i said do your research number one thing is do research on the car don't come out there saying what oil do i need what tires fit okay bro look research what tires fit what wheels fit feminine industries go check them out uh, there's another there's a couple other websites so you can check out well oil look at the damn manual bro in the damn manual of the car it literally says zero w20 all right it literally says it right there what gas do i put bro like in my si it says premium fuel only in yours i don't know what it says but look at it look into it all right don't be asking dumb common sense questions that the answer is literally right in your face use your phone use google bing yahoo whatever Go find the answers to all your questions on the internet. And if you see just one person with the answer, look up another source and make sure majority have the same answer. Don't just go by one person that says, oh yeah, put this oil and you'll be running fast and super. No, bro, don't, don't, don't do that, man. Don't do that. Everybody's quick to believe one little thing like, bro, do your research, please. That's the number one thing. The number one thing that you have to do do your research on the platform before you do anything please all right please and please do not put bitch ass ravioli in the cup holders all right do not do that i've seen that on the forums do not do that bro do not put no freaking spaghetti ravioli chef boyardee ni mierdas in the fucking cup holders who the fuck eats out of those cup holders weird ass people man right don't be doing that shit bro all right, so that's just the quick tips and advice from me, El Pinche. You know me, follow my channel if you haven't already, bro. Because why are you coming to me, calling me the master? You might as you follow my channel, right? Yeah, I do follow your channel, fool. That's why I'm coming to you, the master. El Pinche, right? That's what they call you. All right, cool, cool. So, yeah, 
those are the tips, man. Make sure you follow them. Do's and don'ts, all right? And don't put on a blow-off valve. Please don't put on a blow-off valve. Get a bitch-ass intake if you want to hear that. If you want to hear that turbo, put on the intake. Forget the blow-off valve. Don't even think about it, all right? And if you're going to tune it, get the proper tune. Do your research. Number one thing, bro. Do your research. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah, Simon. Yeah, so I wrote all the notes right here, man. And yeah, so, okay. 2.5K RPM, uh, wide open throttle, roll into boost. Don't get the blow off valve, Mishimoto intake, uh, flat butts, flex fuel. Uh, okay, okay. I'll, I'll do research on it. I'll do research on it. Maintenance, keep up with it. Enjoy the car. Don't, it's not a race car. And don't put a... Uh, Bitch ass shift wear D in the cup holders? Is that what you said, fool? Right? Because, like, could I put some of the basso and all that shit or what? Like, what, do, why, why are people doing that? That makes no sense to me, fool. But anyway, thank you, homie. I'm going to follow these tips and tricks. And if anybody else needs these tricks, I'll I'll, I'll let them know or I'll, t I'll tell them to go to you or I'll just share the, the list to them. Because you're the master, jefe. You're the chingon ass fool that knows what you're doing with your perron ass car, man. Hell yeah. Thank you, homie. Hey, hey, no problem, dog. All right, no problem. J but yeah, just do your research and you'll be good to go, homie. All right. Thanks for saying what's up. And, and I'll see you. Hopefully, I'll see your car soon around the meets or somewhere. You know, share it. Let me know where it's at. Share it on Instagram. Let me know. Check it out. I'll check it out and let you know what you, if you got. Any questions, just hit me up, man. You know, these are just a couple do's and don'ts for the 1.5 Turbo Civic. These are just a couple things homie hell yeah yeah man that fool was a little weird but uh yeah guys good thing i got it on camera you know a couple do's and don'ts for the 1.5 t civic definitely no blow off valve definitely um enjoy the car maintenance and yeah guys just, just do your research that's the number one thing I, I advise anybody to do man do your research because if you don't do your research i believe there will be problems and issues and you will look like a dumbo taking it to a shop and they're like who did this it, it was me nah bro like nah just do your research please do your research if you're gonna go full cosmetics go right ahead if you're gonna go full performance let me tell you one thing this this car is not for ultimate performance but it is capable of a good amount all right the 1.5 t engine is capable up to a certain amount the SI more capable than the base models. The hatchback, I've seen many that reach a good amount of power as well. Flex fuel, bigger turbo. So like I said, guys, do's and don'ts. The number one do, please, is research. Research the car heavily. Do not skip on the research. Research your car like if it's a project you're working on. It is your project you're gonna be working on, right? So might as well do research on the car, man. It's been what, a couple years now? First one came out in 2017 with the 1.5T Turbo. So do your research. There's plenty of information out there, guys. Plenty of information. Plenty of channels, plenty of forums. Just look at everything, man. And if you need any advice from me, the master, El Jefe, as that one fool said, just hit me up, man. Hit me up on IG at El Pinche. 97 and I'll, I'll help you guys out any questions i always always help people out guys so yeah hell yeah and once again thank you for 990 plus subscribers almost at a thousand basically i don't know what i should give away this time at a thousand but i'm debating it I'll, I'll i'll see what i do guys but either way thanks for watching this quick little thing that fool's gone already now let me go continue on to my to do my car shit yeah hell yeah peace out Bro, you can check the whip and peel, damn, this ticket is ill Gear shifting the smooth as butter Cut in and out of lanes, undercover Style, wow, my mirror, the rear view You can never fly by, homie, I will see you Mark 5, change terrains if need be Thou shall never floor pass, I would let the ID before you act on